So we're getting to the end about the basics of what I can show you for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I do have a few things that I want to do before shipping this off and saving up for the next Samsung flagship. But before I do that, I wanted to show you how to install a Project Treble custom ROM on the device. So there are a lot of people who enjoy the Samsung Experience software. From the settings to all of the features that it comes with. But there are also a lot of people who think that all of these features are bloatware and that they can bog down the system and they would rather have a more stock-like experience. Thankfully, with Project Treble, we can install a custom ROM also known as a GSI, a generic system image on the device and it will boot up for that specific custom ROM like usually custom ROM builders would have to build a custom ROM from scratch they would have to build in all the features but thanks to, to Project Treble we can actually just flash over one system image and it will boot the device up for that specific custom ROM. And there are a lot of these out there. There are AOSP vanilla Android versions of Project Treble ROMs. There are Pixel Experience, Dirty Unicorn. The list goes on and on. Um, it, I definitely suggest you check out the XDA dedicated forum for Project Treble enabled devices for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now if you actually look in the Galaxy Note 9 forums you'll see some semi GSI Project Treble custom ROMs on there that are made to be more optimized for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I have personally not had very uh, good experience with those. I've tried, I believe, two or three, and they have all just sat there during the boot process. I will continue to experience experiment with that in the future, but for now, I just want to show you how to flash a regular Project Treble custom ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And I'm going to be doing that with the... Pro, uh, Pixel Experience, the Android 9.0 version. This is actually unofficial. The official version of Pixel Experience Project Treble ROM is based on Oreo, but there is an unofficial one based on 9, so I'm going to do that as I have successfully flashed this on a Xiaomi device. So I don't see there being any issues with the Galaxy Note 9. But again, go through all of them. There are a lot of different ones to choose from. Resurrection Remix. Um, I know PHH has his optimized for a lot of specific devices and, have, and is actively updating their ROM to work with specific devices and to squash bugs with specific devices. Anyway, I will have a direct link to the XDA forum where you can download and pick a Project Treble Custom ROM in the full tutorial. Look in the video description below this um, below for those of you who are watching this on YouTube. You'll find the link to my website. It's just for, for a regular Project Treble custom ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, it's just one image file that we're going to be downloading. And I will link to the Project or the Pixel Experience one 
just so that you can follow along with me if that's exact if that's the way you want to do it again the other ones will just be one image as well and we'll be going through the exact same process all we're doing is flashing this one image to the system partition very easy so to do this we need to have the bootloader unlocked meaning this will only work on Exynos versions of the Galaxy Note 9 and we're gonna have to have TWRP installed I also recommend you go ahead and create a full backup in TWRP just in case so once you're ready to start the flashing process after you have downloaded the image file and you have moved it or copied it over to the Galaxy Note 9 we're going to boot up into TWRP this is this is, means we're booting up into recovery mode if you're not familiar with how to do any of this again refer to the full tutorial on my website which is linked in the video description as I walk you through each and every one of these step by step from beginning to end. So just like with every other Project Trouble Custom ROM installs, we're gonna need to tap on the wipe button and then we're just going to do a regular factory reset. We're not going to be formatting data or anything, just a regular factory reset. Tap the home button once that's done. Now that we are back at the home screen, we're going to tap on install. Then you're going to browse to wherever you move or copied that Project Trouble Custom ROM image file to, which for me was the download folder. And then you're going to tap on the install image button right there. Now remember for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, we need to make sure that we have downloaded the ARM64 version and the A slot only version of the Project Trouble Custom ROM. With that done, just go ahead and tap on that image. Tap on the system image and then swipe the white arrows to confirm the installation. Now this is only going to take a few seconds to complete the installation so it's not going to take very long at all as you can see. Once that is done just go ahead and tap on the reboot system button. And you can see we're going to be going through the regular system boot animation sequence. Now I have seen it to where sometimes it will boot you back up into TWRP. Then probably because you did not do a factory reset. But if that happens to you it's worth go ahead and trying to tap on the reboot button again and then tap on system and then that will take you back to the first boot animation sequence for this device. So naturally, since we have done a factory reset, this first boot cycle is gonna take a little bit longer than normal. Just be patient. Not only does Android have to do its setup process, but the Pixel Experience ROM has to set up a few things as well.
And now we are at the setup screen. I'm going to go ahead and set up this device and then I will be right back. Now I am right in the middle of this setup process and I did want to point out that as you can see the user interface is very small for this particular Project Travel Custom ROM and the Galaxy Note 9. And during this setup process, it asks you if you want to change the font size. You can do all of this through the settings application if you want after you have set it up. But I did just want to show you that you can tap on the change the front font size and then tap on display size and then make some of these user interface elements just a little bit bigger just so that they match however you like it to be. And there we have it. That is how to install a Project Trouble Custom ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9.